So then when you've ironed this on, uh, when you're sat in front of your uh, TV, <laughs> favourite TV show, or listening to a wonderful lecture of some sort, then what you do is you take the scissor and you cut around um, all the flowers and you don't take the backing off yet because um, this will take you quite a while but it's easy to cut because it's got the paper backing and it's stiffened up so just sit there relax with your bag of munchies and cut away around the flowers it's going to take you a while because there's a lot to do and I don't think there's an easy way around it because we don't want the white uh, of the background of the net to show we want this to look like the sequence is actually embroidered embroidered onto the scarf and this is going to give such a beautiful look to the scarf itself so a very lengthy process what I'm going to do is I'm going to entrust this to one of my family members or your mom or an auntie good exercise for all those people with arthritis in the wrists plenty of exercise I should take it along to the wedding shouldn't I how you get bored at weddings and you just sit there right? and so everybody else is talking away and you're just sat there with your you know how the ladies take their knitting needles everywhere especially if you go in hospital take this with you what a good pastime you know how you sat there in the waiting room I was with one of my family members uh, last week I think it was and we sat there for three and a half hours in the urgent care centre because it takes ages for your turn to come and it'd be wonderful to have something like this although you might get security coming around thinking that you're in with a dangerous weapon the scissor <laughs> I'm just trying to uh, think of conversation here by the way if you've not noticed <laughs> ideas for you Next time you're visiting a friend that you, you have nothing in common and nothing to talk about, take this along and tell her to take one scissor and to cut from one side and you cut from the other. Maybe you'll end up having an inspiring conversation about something, even if it's just fashion. <laughs> Don't mind me yapping away, I'm just talking silly here. Right, this is going to be one lengthy process. Okay, I'm going to stop here and I'm going to try and cut at least the one layer on both the sides. And then I'm going to iron it onto the one side of the dupatta and give you a glimpse of what this looks like. So once I've chopped the whole of this off, we'll come back and we'll do a part two to it. It might be better to do this. You're going to have to find ways of how easy, how, find a way of um, a method for you that is easy to cut around. Anyway, good exercise for the wrists. Good exercise for also perfecting your cutting and grabbing hold of the scissor I did think of burning this as well but I don't think that's gonna work I think cutting is fine and we've only gone through a quarter yet so let's just quickly take this away because at least then it's easy to handle. I can't wait to make this though, I'll tell you. Okay, so we're going to use quite a bit. It's going to be quite a bit of work, but initially we're just going to do this one and then see what the outcome is like before we jump the bandwagon and do some more. 